What a great program that is. Okay, let's take a look at your forecast. Hurricane Lee remains a Category 3 hurricane, starting to make that big turn to the north now. It's heading north-northwest as compared to its west-northwesterly motion for the past week or so. Uh, here's a look at the latest from the Hurricane Center. Winds at 115, moving north-northwest at 9, expected to weaken to a Category 2 and then a Category 1 storm over the next couple of days, and then eventually making landfall somewhere in the northeastern U.S. or Canadian Maritimes over the weekend. You see almost the entire state of Maine now inside the cone there and then it continues up to the northeast as a tropical storm. Let's take a look at what's going on east of that way east. We've got 97 L could become tropical storm Nigel over the weekend. It's got an 80% chance for development. Let's put all of the tropics in motion. Here's Margo here. Here's Lee over here and here's 97 out on here. So Lee goes north. 97L potentially becomes Nigel here, and it continues on a west-northwesterly course, but then computer models have it making that big turn near Bermuda and heading off to the northeast. We'll keep our eyes on it for you and keep you up to date. Let me show you what's going on here. We're on our SkyCam network, lots of blue skies around, a few showers here and there, a little shower right over top of, uh, just to the north of Fort Bassinger now, northern Okeechobee County. Bunch of little showers right along the coast here, one near Vero Beach, St. Lucie Village just had one, Fort Pierce little shower, and then not much happening in Palm Beach County just yet, but there is the potential for a few strong afternoon storms, both today and tomorrow, even though rain chances remain low. Over the weekend, as Lee moves way off to our north there, more moisture moves back into Florida, and we end up with higher chances for rain for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's in the low 90s across our area right now, but with the humidity, it feels like upper 90s and low 100s for most of the area. I'm sure you felt that if you stepped outside today. Beach and boating forecast, please use caution. Seas will be on the rise along the Treasure Coast over the next few days, especially as Hurricane Lee continues to move to our northeast. Big waves cruising in along the coast today, three to five foot seas on the Treasure Coast, two to three for Palm Beach County. Warm and humid, a few strong storms this afternoon drifting toward the southeast. Very similar forecast for tomorrow. And then that moisture starts to move back in over the weekend. 40% chance for rain Friday, 50 Saturday, and 40% on Sunday. That's a look at your forecast.